Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It has been about two weeks since my last video and the reason for that is um, in the last couple of videos, well actually in the last videos I was doing the fuel cell which is done and in place. <clears throat> There's a new fuel cell living in there and that's great because I have a lot more faith in this fuel tank than the temporary one I had in there. So I'm more comfortable, I'm more comfortable driving the bug around with this new fuel cell than with that temporary one I had. But if you remember with that, um, that rattle noise that I had, I kind of got stuck down the rabbit hole trying desperately to find out what was making that noise. And I mean, I, I tore the rear end apart numerous times. I had friends go back on this side road where I can replicate the noise and they hung off the side of the bug here and they were listening for it. And we did all sorts of things, just all sorts of stuff. And to be quite honest with you, I'm not sure I ever actually found the problem and I didn't fix the problem. It's still there. I think the actual source of the, the noise is I think the bearing carriers that came with these latest Rage micro stubs have a little tiny bit of slop in them. Not much, but I think it's just enough to let things rattle a little bit and then resonate through the chassis. That's the that's really the only solution that I can come up with. I'm still keeping my eye out and trying to figure out exactly what it is, and I might replace one of these bearing carriers and see if that solves the problem on one side. But I've taken it apart enough that I'm not worried at this point that act that something's like falling apart or that it's the transaxle or anything like that. I just think it's rattling through the bearing carriers a little bit. So I'm more comfortable with that and that's going to allow me to, to take it out and drive it around some. However, in the last couple of weeks, I have been working on something else that I've been very excited to tell you about, but I wanted to get a little bit of traction with it before I decided this was actually something that I'm going to do. In a nutshell, the first two years that I was building this bug, I didn't have the YouTube channel. And so you guys didn't get to see that what I was doing is building things and then deciding that I could build them better so I would tear them apart and rebuild them. I did, as an example, I did the rear suspension three times. I did the front suspension twice. I initially built this with the air-cooled, then I swapped to the water-cooled. So as you can see, most of the things I've torn apart and changed except the chassis. And now that the bug is at the point where it's drivable and I can actually kind of see how it behaves and how it acts, I'm starting to realize that this chassis that I built is not living up to the expectations of this suspension and this motor. So I could either try and build off of this or what I'm pretty sure at this point I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build it a new chassis and I'm gonna build it a tube chassis that doesn't use the Volkswagen body. I'm going to build it around the Volkswagen body as far as it, I'm gonna try and match the dimensions and it's going to use the, uh, the fiberglass one piece front end. But while I was trying to decide how to do this, I was doing research and I found some software where I can design the tube chassis and it's called Bentec. And I ended up doing some research on this software and I bought it for 300 bucks. You get their, I think it's called Bentec Pro and you can design the chassis. And I did, I bought that and I've started designing this chassis. Now the part that I'm excited about is I'm going to show you guys the chassis on numerous videos before I start building it. And you guys can give me some feedback. If you see some things that I should change or just if you have some ideas, throw them out there in the comments, and if I like them, uh, I'll implement them into the chassis. And the reason I wanna do that is, a lot of times I build something, and then in the comments, you guys will have an idea or something that is a really good idea, and I wish I would've had it before I built whatever I was building in that video. So I kinda get screwed, because I'm always on the tail end of your comments. So that's why on this video, I'm going to show you some uh, some drawings of this chassis before I actually start building it. I'll just throw it in at the tail end or at the beginning of uh, my next couple of videos. And this way you guys can keep an eye on it and uh, give me any suggestions you have. On top of that, 
I'm pretty sure with this Bentex software, number one, if you have the Bentex software, and if you want it, I'll give you any of the files that I make, and then you can make them right off the file. I also think that this Bentex software can be opened up in AutoCAD. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it can. Um, and then on top of that, if you don't have the Bentex software or AutoCAD, um, I know that I can print out like drawings and documents from the Bentex. So I could also just send you those and then you, you know, you're still going to have to build it yourself, but you'll have all the dimensions and everything. And I think moving forward, anything really that I make, I'll draw up first in this Bentec. The Bentec will uh, kind of show me how to fabricate it. And then if you guys see something that I'm making and you want the drawings or the file, you just let me know and I'll just email them to you and uh, you'll have it. So that's what I'm excited about. I think it's going to be a really good way for me to be able to share um, the projects with you, which basically is what this YouTube channel is all about. Because when I started this YouTube channel, it was because I was struggling finding information and I decided um, if I shared what I was doing with you guys, then uh, it might enable us all to kind of share our thoughts and what we're building a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you inside and I'm going to show you a little bit of the software, but really I'm going to show you what I have on my drawing of my chassis so far so that you guys can uh, start giving me any any input that you might have. So let's go inside check it out. So this is the chassis right now. Um, why don't I actually go to, well, I can move it around here, give you a side view of it. This is what it's going to look like from the side. Um, <clears throat> what I've done here is I've put in some of the structure back here for the Ecotech and the transaxle and the A-arms and I've put some of the structure up front for the A-arm suspension but since I don't know exactly where like the transaxle and the engine and all that is going to go what I have not added in here yet and I probably won't until I actually build it to the point where I have the engine and the transaxle in it any cross bracing because I need to triangulate all of this back here where the engine's going to go. Um, I can't, I can't, I just, I don't want to have to lay any of that out until I actually have the engine back there. But everything else on this chassis is, is laid out legitimately taking measurements off of uh, my, my chassis out there right now. I did, if you notice, this is not meant to have a Volkswagen body put over it. This is going to be more like, um, like when I went to the Mint 400, I saw all those chassis where they don't use a bug body. They're just a, a custom tube chassis. Um, and also, um, I think his name is Blake Wilkie's got a, a chassis similar to this. I'm sure I took a lot of this from his design. Um, what I did is I designed this to somewhat mimic the Volkswagen chassis in, in size and all that. And I'm trying to design it so that my fiberglass front end will go right on here. So I'm trying to match like the, the width here to the width that the bug body is out there and, and things like that. So that my intention is to build this chassis and then have the fiberglass one piece front end on the front and then all the side panels will be aluminum the roof will be aluminum um, and I want to make some you know kind of like a nice little wing for the back and panels back here quite a bit of panels so that it doesn't completely look like a, just a tube chassis another thing that's not on here at all because I, I don't know how to add it without having more components on here is there will be a rear fenders that are welded onto this chassis as well but I don't have that in here yet. Um, another thing that I put on here is uh, there are no doors on this one it's going to be a solid chassis but instead of taking this piece and running straight across here because I don't want it to be too difficult getting in and out of because again this is not a race chassis this is just meant for bombing around the mountain trails by me I took the bar that would go across here and I lowered it four inches 
I tried to tie in some cross breaking here so that it would still have most of its, it, most of its strength. But I did lower that four inches to make it a little bit easier climbing in and out of the chassis. Another thing that I did just for aesthetics, which I think is kind of cool, is this bar here, this main roll bar, is leaned back at the same angle as my seats. So when my seats are in here, they should basically follow the contour of this roll bar, uh, which means that as I'm driving, uh, I'll be able to see out the side here without any problem because I won't have the roll bar in my way. One thing that I did on my current chassis, which I wish I didn't do, is I put this roll bar straight up and down and I put it so that it goes directly over my head, which is nice for protection, but it also makes it so that there's not much room before my head would actually run into that bar. So I laid that back. Then another thing I did, which I think is kind of cool, but it sacrifices some strength. Rather than pull a bar down from the top here and connecting down here somewhere, I didn't put any bar in there and I just added a little, uh, little bar here at a 45 to strengthen this bend, but also to be used as a handle when you're climbing in and out of the chassis. And then I tried to basically triangulate everything as much as possible for ultimate strength because I do want this to be pretty strong. Um, aside from the front section and the rear section, those are going to have more triangulated pieces once I actually build the chassis and have the suspension and the, the shock mounting points in place. Another thing that I'm trying to do is this might be a little bit difficult to see, but this bar that runs across here is actually in there to be used as a firewall. So what I want to do is run aluminum paneling from this bar down to this bar underneath. So I would have aluminum paneling from here to here, and then from here, aluminum paneling to this bar. So what's that good, what that's going to do is take this section and basically isolate it from the cabin, which would be here. And then I want to install my fuel cell down here. Because what I don't like on my current chassis is how the fuel cell is in the cockpit with me. Um, that really gives me an uneasy feeling. So I drew this up so that I can panel that and then the sides will be paneled as well. So the only place it would be open is on the back. Fuel cell will be separated from me and then my intention is, and I'm not going to know exactly how this works out until I, I build this as well, is to put the radiator somewhere up here uh, so that it's got good airflow coming through it and then possibly integrate that somehow with some sort of a scoop up either on the roof or on these side panels to if the vehicle's actually cruising to give the radiator a little bit more airflow. And I also don't know when I do put the radiator here if I'll try and keep it low so that I can actually see over the top of it. I do think since I want to drive this on the street and on the mountain trails, if I could have a rear view mirror up here and look out over the top of the radiator so that I could see some of what's behind me, I think that would be a nice touch. So I'm kind of hoping that the radiator will mount down here and give me some, some room to see over the top. So to give you an example of what I'm thinking I'll be able to do, if I, let's say, go to parts, and if I click on this part, and if I go to part details, it shows me this specific part, okay? And then I can come over here and I can go to tasks, flat layout, and what this does is it shows me the part in flat layout, and then I can tell it to tell me how long the part is and where to start the bends and then I can also have it tell me the angles so it'll tell me how much I need to bend it so I can cut the piece I can bend the piece and then when I'm done with that part 38 and then I can go to details and then I can print this out and this what it does is it prints out this piece of paper that you cut out and then you wrap it around the tube and then you trace this portion onto the tube with like a, a sharpie 
and then that's what you would cope that tube out to. And uh, I'm pretty excited about that because I, I feel like I can draw this up and then I can just bend and cut, bend and cope these parts and then just assemble it. I'll build a flat um, assembly table to do this on and uh, just assemble the, assemble the chassis. It sounds crazy, but I, I do think that I'll be able to do that with this uh, software. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I think that's it for this video, guys. Um, I just wanted to kind of catch you up to speed onto the uh, trials and tribulations I've been going through on the bug, trying to uh, find that clunk, which I never really did. But most importantly, I got this software, I think, three or four weeks ago, and I've been um, learning how to use it and designing my chassis and deciding if this is something that I wanted to do. I have decided that it is something that I want to do and I've been really excited to share it with you guys because number one, I think it's going to be fun to be able to show it to you guys and have you guys possibly give me any input. And number two, with this software, I'm going to be able to um, just keep all of these files and I'm pretty sure I'll easily be able to share it with you guys. And so anything that you guys see me uh, draw up and fabricate. Number one, if you have Bentec, I can just give you the files, you can pull it up, you can print it out, you can make it, you can tweak it, change it, it'll give you a good starting point, whatever. And I also think if you don't have Bentec, I think you can pull it up in AutoCAD, or it might just be enough that if I give you a printout, you can at least have the dimensions and whatnot and try to build it off of there. So I'm really excited to be able to just kind of build a database so that anything that I'm making, if you guys see it and you guys decide that that's something that you might want to try, I think this would be a very easy way for me to just hand that off to you guys and, and you guys could have at it. So hopefully we'll be working on that a lot in the future and I will have the bug this summer in a couple of car shows and I'm hoping to do some trail riding with it this summer while I'm working on the new chassis. Once I get the new chassis to a certain point, I will tear that bug apart and take all of the components off of it and start fabricating them onto the new chassis. So I'm really, I'm actually very excited about that. So thanks for watching the video, guys. I'm glad I got to share this with you. I'm very excited about it, and I hope to say, I hope I see you in our next video. Take care.